Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Pity Beats here from Pop Turnus being to Natalie Byrne about the film The Enforcer in theaters and on demand September 23rd. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Peter. It's, ex- <laughs> so excited it's exciting. It, no, it's really exciting to chat with you. But like it's interesting because in a world where there's so many like genre bending movies and TV shows out there that have a lot. It's very refreshing to watch a movie where we know what we're getting ourselves into, right? Like with the Enforcer, we're getting into our like it's it's like a action film. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot going on there, in my opinion. Or do you? I don't know. Maybe I think maybe I, do. That, I don't know. That, Spoiler that, alert, it's about crime. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it's pretty straightforward, but I still have to watch the movie to understand everything. Um, I'm hoping that we didn't reveal everything in the trailer, um, but it is a film noir, you know, action thriller. Um, I love uh, movies, 80s movies, 90s movies, you know, so I was very happy to, um, you know, to produce and to star in a film like that. I mean, it just, it takes me back to all the classics. Um, the movie, the script reminds me a little bit of the, the um, Leon the Professional. Yeah. And I think uh, Antonio's doing a great job with his character, Kuda. So I think it's, you know, people that love those kind of movies, they'll definitely enjoy The Enforcer a lot. Absolutely. What were the movies for you at a young age that were like kind of the gateway to like being a storyteller? Like, was there different kinds of movies for you or like was there one specific genre? Um, so I'm a huge fan of horror movies since I was a child and my mom was completely against me watching all those creepy, gory horror films. Um, and to be honest, like for some reason, like people ask me like, why do you, why do you like to watch horror movies so much? It's weird, but it relaxes me. It like makes me not think about all the problems in the world. And it makes me like really, really calm and (laughs) somehow happy and the crazier the horror movie, the, the creepier it is, the gorier it is, the better I feel about about myself for some reason. I'm like, oh, actually, you know what? My life is not that bad. I love horror <laughs> I know, movies. But, yeah. I love the fact that we're in an age of horror movies where, you know, the traditional kind of jump scares and the gore, like, it's it's still there. But, like, there's so many different things that are used to scare people now. Like, People are oh, scary. Yeah. A dinner, like a dinner party conversation between two people, oh, yeah. is scary. That's my favorite part about it, in my opinion. That's what I love nowadays about um, genre movies is that a lot of directors now they're bending the genres and they're looking for something different and unique, um, you know, to showcase on screen for the people to be more shocked or interested in. And um, I love mixing genres so i think it's it's like definitely we're in this new era where you know you can create whatever it is that you want to do and the audience will be more open to it because you know they've seen it all so nowadays like try to show them something different and i think mixing the genres and developing movies like that it's it's kind of like cool and hip right now and it's you know and the audience like i said they, they're needing more of that they're needing more they're not as stupid as they, as, as they were before i think like now the audience are way more smarter and um, you need to give them a very smart content, you know, to make them more interested and follow it. That's so interesting that you say that. I do have a question in regards to that very quickly. Yeah. Genre bending, which may or may not yeah. be the enforcer. You know? <laughs> I, I, I I'm talking about all those ideas that I have in my head and that I'm, I'm creating the enforcer. I mean, I am, you know, the enforcer, like I said, I'm still a huge fan of, of nineties and eighties action movies and, and I love um, film noir. Um, I love these neon lights. And I like I like I like character driven films. And mm-hmm. I think the enforcer in character driven films, especially with Antonio portraying Kuda, um, his character. I think it's it it drives the audience, and 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 the audience are way more interested to continue watching and seeing what's going to happen to it. Yep. Even if you think you know the ending and you think you know what's going to happen to I was to just his thinking of, I was just thinking more of like what what I meant to say about at the beginning of the interview is like. You know, you you watch the trailer, you put the movie on, and you know you're going to get a movie that's going to have some action and it's going to have jam-packed. 
there are some movies these days now that where I watch it, it's kind of like, what am I watching? And it's not necessarily a bad oh, yeah. thing. It's not a bad yeah. thing. Forcer, the Enforcer is a badass film noir action thriller film yep. that a lot of people that enjoyed those 90s cool films they're gonna like this one a lot so what do you think about because i really love what you said about the audience member the smart audience member because you know and we did it a lot during the pandemic as well right where we had a lot of time on our hands we watched a lot of content and there were Mm -hmm. there was different types of content there was the content where you could just kind of after a hard day at work grab a slice of pizza sit on your couch check your phone, do a viewing and watch a movie, right? And be like kind of passive. And then there's films where like, you can't do that. Like you gotta like dial in and be like a detective. Yeah, exactly. Or you have to like point back and be like, what just happened? That's pretty refreshing, right? To have both though, right? Yeah, I mean, there's smart, you know, shows and films and then there's shows that are just like, easy going yep. the ones that you kind of watch while falling asleep and then it doesn't matter if you miss like 10 minutes because you wake up and you're like oh i still got it and there's shows like you know i'm currently actually watching game of thrones because i've never seen it and i'm watching right now i'm on season seven and it's a show that you cannot miss a single word yeah put like, your you phone away don't talk oh, to yeah. anyone <laughs> and that's it you're gone you're like wait what just happened what happened so i gotta like I, sometimes i have to rewind myself if like somebody like texts me and i get distracted so it's 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 a smart TV show. It's it's well written. It's so um, it it's complex. The the characters you care about. Every single character has an arc, and those are the kind of things that I'm 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 looking to do as an actress and as a producer. So even though, like you said, the enforcer is, is pretty straightforward um, film. I think it's still um, it's dr- it's driven by its characters and its characters that are that are captivating the audiences and you want to continue watching. Um, so as long as the characters are interesting, I think that people would want to see the movie or the show. In terms of, you know, wearing many hats, be like acting, producing, I mean, is that premeditated for you or does that kind of just happen? Like, do you kind of dive into the industry knowing that you're going to want to wear many hats or does it kind of just happen? Oh, um, it actually, I I think it kind of just happened when I first came to, um, to Hollywood, you know. I had a huge big dream to become a Hollywood actress, you know, who doesn't? And you come here and I'm originally Ukrainian. So um, I, I dreamt of being in Hollywood, but of course it was, it was a huge, you know, achievement for me to even arrive here. And I was like, Oh my God, even though I arrived from London, still like being a Ukrainian girl, you're like, can I succeed? Can I not? And then when I realized that it's, it's hard, it's not easy to, you know, to become just this, star this amazing famous actress i i realized you know what a lot of actors actors and actresses now, nowadays are creating their own content for themselves and i think it's it's as it's way more forgiving nowadays as it was before when you know when they all had contracts with studios nowadays you know we don't have contracts with studios we just get it hired per movie and then you kind of back back on your own and trying to audition again and, and, and find roles and find new parts and find work really you know, so I figured, um, why not, you know, learn the behind the scenes as well and how to create a movie um, since I love creating regardless. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm also a choreographer. I was a ballerina when I was when I was younger and I'm a choreographer. So I love creating whatever it is that I create. I enjoy the process of it. And of course, the final outcome when the audience go, oh, wow, this was great and or not. Doesn't matter. You learn from it. You move on and do something different. Um, so that's when I was like, you know what, I have ability to. Put things together so i need to understand how producing works yep and i dived into it and and i have no regrets because i've i've understood filmmaking from um you know every single crew member now and and i value their opinions i value their times their hard work because it 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 really is not one in person's job and to make a movie it's yep. you know it's a team and you gotta respect and and appreciate you know others other people's times so Absolutely, you know. for sure. And getting back to the enforcer, you know, they're going to be a, get a chance to see it. It's it's going to be in, it's going to be in theaters. It's going to be available on demand when they get a chance to watch the film. Natalie, what are you hoping to get out of it, takeaway wise? Um, I just hope that you're going to be nostalgic about the old old classics. You know, all those amazing movies that we used to watch, and you're going to be like, wow, this is this is the movie that I, that that's worth my time, worth my money. 
and I enjoyed it. And, you know, you're going to, I'm hoping that you're going to, um, I guess, understand the characters, you know, but more than anything, just feel happy for, for, for spending your time doing this. Because after all, like when we make movies, we don't want, you know, the audience to be disappointed. So, and of course, I hope you watch out for my part <laughs> that I'm playing with Antonio. And you can let me know what you think about it after. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Natalie, thanks so much for coming on Pop Turd. It was great chatting with you. Great chatting with you too. Thank you. Um, yeah, the film's going to be available. And you have social media, right, that people can keep up to date with as well? Yeah. Yeah, you can guys follow me on, on Instagram. It's Natalie underscore Burn. And Facebook, Twitter is Natalie Burn 01. And I also have at Facebook, NatalieBurn.com. So, I mean, yeah. All, all, right you're, you're, you're dialed in all the socials. Yeah. <laughs> I respond, you know, I respond to my fans, to uh, to critics, you know, I always want to chat to people to understand what they what they think, what they feel, you know, and I take criticism, criticism, advice, whatever, you know, whatever comes my way. So absolutely. Well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Natalie Byrne, who you can catch in The Enforcer in theaters and on demand September 23rd and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.